We are in San Sebastian right now. It's on the northern coast of Spain. We're starting our road trip from east to west basically and then we'll end kind of in the middle in Bilbao. Who pours a half glass of sangria? What the fuck? We're doing half glasses. That's yeah, all you get. The whole That's all you get. The rest is mine. <laughs> this is mom's. Oh, yeah, you guys, look at this. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> wow. Like you go to a five out of five in the U.S. It's like, yeah, that was no. good. That was good. You like go to, our... you go to a four point five out of five here, you're like, holy fucking shit. <laughs> now we may sound we may sound like we're a little bit lit because it really was because great the sangria. sangria was fucking amazing. <laughs> We got to our sunrise destination, or at least kind of. Where, where is it? We drove down this like dirt path with our tiny little compact car. So we had to stop and then we're gonna keep walking the rest of the way and see if we can find the sunrise shot that Jake is looking for. We're on the northern coast of Spain and it kind of tracks around and goes down to the coast of Portugal. So if you've ever seen the coast of Portugal, they're super famous for how rocky they are and all of the cliffs. The northern coast of Spain are pretty similar to that. So we're gonna try to find some beaches like that. Pretty sure that's the path we're supposed to be walking down. That's the forged path. I think we're supposed to go down there. The Algarve coast of Portugal are still pretty unbeaten in my opinion, but this is pretty freaking beautiful. Oh my gosh. One of the really cool things about these beaches is obviously it's not the summertime right now, but I don't think they're very popular at all. Like the road to get to where we are right now was first of all, basically off-roading. And then there was a second path we took and it went by all of these houses. And it was just a tiny single lane road. Like I just can't imagine that those roads are heavily trafficked for the beach. So these are just super secluded and beautiful beach spots, which is so cool. There is a path behind me somewhere that we think leads all the way down to the beach. Right now we're obviously a little bit above it. So we're gonna see if we can get all the way down to the actual beach. No swimming for us though, cause it's like 40 degrees out here. <laughs> Mom and I are very tempted to just stay in the car. We rallied for the first sunrise, but we but desperately now we need had coffee. coffee. <laughs> so we're we're and we're, now he's we're making going us hike down to this beach. We're too. going down to a beach under duress. <laughs> yeah, under duress. So this is the beach of silence. Let's we're gonna walk. 
down those stairs over there if you can see them. Right there. <laughs> We're taking a shortcut down to the beach. Yeah, it's gonna be great, she said. <laughs> You'll have fun, she said. <laughs> So mom wimped out of taking the shortcut and I beat her by like, oh, she bullshit. like jogged Not the whole way around the loop. Yeah, and she, she came down in front of me because she jumped. For like two seconds, I beat her by like two seconds. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and this terrain is so beautiful. There are like these tiny little steps you can take over here, or you can take those big steps that mom are on, that mom is on, grammar, or you can walk over here. And this whole cliff face is just so unique, gorgeous. That's my mind. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my high these are all little seashells on the rocks. What the heck? I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. Headed back up. Sky is falling down. We have the race. Oh, Kelsey stumbles. Mom's going smoothly. Oh, I don't know, it looks like, looks close, but I really can't tell how high up that goes. They have, for some reason, translated these, but the languages are so similar that only like they half really, a word is different like in both hard, of them. It's hard to figure out which one's which, like is that Spanish or is that Spanish? <laughs> Maybe that one's Basque. I don't know. Which one of these but is neither Portuguese? Of them are... This beach is called Praia de Catedrales, so basically beach of the cathedrals. When you walk in, it sounds like a cathedral, like the echoing and everything is crazy. What's really cool is this is our third beach of the day, and not one of them has been similar to the others. They're all completely different, and they've all been within an hour and a half of each other. So cool. At high tide, these caves are largely underwater, so there's all of these barnacles on the like side of the caves, barter holes and like clam shells, like really small muscle stuff like that on these cave walls. It's so cool. This is insane. Here's a big cluster. There's a big cluster.
Look up there. That's Mom and Jake. I'm standing behind the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao right now. It's amazing. Like, I could stare at this architecture all day long. It's so gorgeous. My favorite exhibit was the Anselm Kiefer exhibit. It's on the third floor if you visit here. He was an artist that grew up in Germany after World War II, and basically his art represents a lot of the mental issues that people had, especially a lot of people, you know, wanted to move on from World War II and kind of pretend that none of that really happened. He digs into those issues, which was really rare at that time in Germany. So his art was super cool, one of my favorite exhibits. Yeah, this was our last stop. We're headed to the airport after this. We definitely didn't give this museum as much time as it deserves so if you're here I would say at least like four three or four hours probably I'm just standing here staring at this architecture until we have to leave for the airport <laughs> 